Americans, in the belief that the faith of our churches makes for a better world, WOI-TV welcomes you to our series, Churches of Iowa. Tonight, we visit the regular Baptist campgrounds on the shores of Clear Lake near Ventura to view the highlights of the family camp which went on there last week. Now here is Reverend Bob Gardner, director of the camp, who will tell you more about it and introduce the other guest for this evening. The regular Baptists of Iowa and Nebraska have carried on an ambitious camping program for about 19 years. We originally centered around reaching youth and adults with the original plan entirely geared for the high school young people of our state. This was expanded finally so that all ages from 10 years on up through the ninth grade and the 12th grade in high school are now included in our program. Five years ago, because of so many blessings that the young people had received, we expanded our program to include entire families, and it is one of these family camps that we're glad to welcome you to tonight that you might see. After running camps for several years, we found it impossible to obtain any campgrounds in the state of sufficient size so that our regular Baptists could be accommodated. As a result, we purchased 52 acres on the north shore of Clear Lake, Iowa. A full program of education, recreation, and spiritual emphasis is maintained. We believe in rest and we believe in recreation, and we want everybody to have a lot of fun, but only as a stepping stone towards the spiritual blessings that can be obtained by studying the Word of God. We believe that the real cure to personal and family difficulties can be obtained when Jesus Christ has become the personal Savior of each individual. We wish to emphasize that our camp maintains the historic, uh, historic Baptist principle and historic Baptist Christianity of true fidelity to the Word of God. We have found that young people have been entirely transformed in their entire lives as a result of the study of the Word of God. We had a young man who was uh, paroled to one of the police officers of the state who came to us a year ago, and as a result of the teachings received from the Word of God, he, his life was transformed and made such an impression on the police department of this given city that two other individual boys were sent to us the next year in hopes that the same miracle could be wrought in their lives, and we are glad that it was so. We would like to have you visit with us at our campgrounds. It's rather impossible for us to translate camping activities into something tangible unless you're able to see it for yourself. And so if you will visit with us a little while, we'll take you around our campground. The families in our family camp began to arrive early Monday, and by afternoon a good, a good many of the 200 which were expected to attend the camp had arrived and were getting settled in their quarter. Among the early arrivals was the Paul Mitchells family of Hospers, Iowa. Mr. Mitchell checked his reservation at the office where a full staff and crew was maintained and then went on to the large dormitory where his family had been assigned quarters. The area around the dorm was busy with activity as other families from the four corners of Iowa and Nebraska unloaded their belongings. This camp offers to the Mitchells and many other families a wonderful vacation opportunity. For a week, this family will have a vacation together in the outdoors with other families of like interests. They will make new friends and renew old acquaintances. The entire family will share in the spiritual instructions and blessings of the camp. Other families arriving at the camp are assigned to the tents, which stand in neat rows under the arching trees. Each family stays together as a unit during the camp. Competent people from several states have been drawn together here at the camp to serve as members of the faculty. 
It's no easy task to plan a program from such a varied group and carry out the schedule smoothly and efficiently. Here the faculty members listen as Director Bob Gardner makes announcements at the daily camp faculty meeting. The big tabernacle tent on the hill is used for regular services and devotions morning and evening and adult classes are held here during the day. All the entire family gather together at the beginning of the day and here is Reverend Harold Scholes of Los Angeles, California, formerly of Ames, who leads the singing at this special service. Reverend Scholes was music director as well as teacher at the camp session. The entire family is dismissed from this unit gathering in the big tent to the various classes that are held in other parts of the ground.